Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. unwise to embrace William. He is old and thinks too much of himself. His army is the largest beyond the Osinon. We'll have need of them. For now, I'll go and visit with the other brothers. Make sure they have everything they need. Aye, they must not fall. Fear not, the Master has a plan. Even now, he prepares a way to turn our losses to his advantage, should it come to that. What does he intend? The less you know, the better. Just do as you've been instructed. Deliver the letter you carry to our master. Altair. He scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. What's got into him? He better not cause any Why must he run around like that? I need food. I'm so hungry. Just a little money, I beg of you. A few coins, all I ask. What the hell do you want? Why would anyone want to do that? is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. 
So now, your only escape from Richard's citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. They let you come and go as you please. I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye, but William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as possible. It's been to our advantage. The perfect cover. It's clever. Anyway, I've finished my report and should deliver it. For once, it seems things might go our way, and not by accident. Well, the Bible does say God helps those who help themselves. Nah, it doesn't, actually. That's from one of Aesop's fables. The Bible says quite the opposite, in fact. Many passages of being patient and faithful and waiting for the Lord to decide if he wishes to assist. Well, I say we've waited long enough. You'll hear no argument from me. Very well. I'm off then. What news? Grim. I finished my scout. A direct assault won't work. What's the trouble? Archers. He's got them all over the fortress. And no easy way to reach them. They'd pick us off before we'd made it ten feet inside. You've kept a record, yes? Aye. I've marked their positions on a map. Bring it to the others. No doubt they'll have a use for it. Very well. I'll go at once. Stay strong, brother. Yes. And you. William of Montferrat had a vision. So a way to end our pain. It's him we should follow. It's him will lead us to victory. Stand up, friends. Do not allow yourself to be sent to slaughter based on the whims and wishes of an uncertain king. We must rely on men who are stronger in their convictions. Men like William of Montferrat. pieces on me. Take them. Take them and go. It's not gold I seek, but information. I know nothing. You know William. Tell me how to reach him. It's impossible. He meets at the king. And when will the king be gone? Today. But it won't help you. They're sure to argue. And then William will retire to lecture the soldiers. So it always goes. Richard berates William. William berates his men. He won't see you. I already told you. I need to see William. I never said he needs to see me. Then our business is done. Not yet, I'm afraid. There's one last thing I need from you. What is it? Your life. A plague what happened, Paladin? A plague upon his people! We came... Why must he run around? 
Back again, Altair. Always in need of a hand to do your dirty work. This time, Al Muelim did not order anything. It is just for my own pleasure that I ask you to find some Masia flags I've hidden in Richard's district. Since I am a loyal assassin unlike others, I will tell you what people are saying in Akka. It is important information. But this time, try to come back to me faster than the first time. I beg of you, sir, I beg of you, just a few coins, please! Odd. Come no further. Oh, no. No. What are you doing? Your hard work is changing my opinion of you. Here is what I know about William of Montferrat. He and Richard had a disagreement before the king left for Jaffa. Since then, William stays in his citadel, surrounded by his army. Do you have what it takes to attack him in this protected environment? We'll see, but I am still doubtful. Rafiq. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. I know what I must do to reach him. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master. But he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. and souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored that end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics? I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arca's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point. But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, your grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. 
warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. Rest now. Your schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akka for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akka does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You who speak of good intentions. Close the game! What news? William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for Conrad, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with Al Muallim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masiyah. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good. Good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Now, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sade. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies. All pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. They must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. <laughs>